Hey y'all, what's up collective? How you doing? I hope you guys had a game. Uh twelve twelve. It's twelve twelve. Um I'm up doing my daughter's homework on my laptop. Uh and I just noticed it's now twelve twelve. Today is twelve twelve. I'm hearing something about divine timing. Uh this is just a quick message. This ain't no tarot message. This is just a quick download, a quick message. So it's several people up doing um, spell work right now. I don't know who you are or what you're doing. But number one, your spell work is not working. And uh, it's not touching. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. One second. Child. What would make someone think that the sky was falling? You'll find out when you read the story of Chicken Little. <laughs> Y'all, I'm doing my daughter's homework. Uh <laughs> I homeschool my kids, so they homework is on the computer. But um, like I was saying, I don't know who you are that's up right now doing spell work or whatever, but your spell work is not working. And so I hope I don't catch you guys off guard. You know, it's a lot of karmics that watch me, and a lot of these karmics are so fucking jealous of me. They think I just make up shit and run my mouth, but obviously I don't make up shit. Obviously, I don't run my mouth because I have a so I have fans. I have a whole soul tribe. I have a whole soul gang that watches me. That's into me. There's even fake celebrities on my platform that watch me under a fake account. I don't know who what celebrities they are, but they do. But uh, <laughs> I just want to say, man, whoever up doing spell work right now, you need to you really need to take your ass to bed. Like I'm literally seeing a woman. This could be an older woman. Somebody is literally like pacing through their house right now like <laughs> is this margaret margaret with your weird ass margaret i didn't told you is the feds is watching you the feds finna kick in y'all though especially your ass margaret your ass is up all night drinking coffee looking out the window you look out the window all fucking die all, all fucking day all fucking night ain't your number 252 on the clock Bro, whoever sold this home, sold this house. I don't know who the fuck you are, Margaret, but I gave you the name Margaret, okay? I don't know if you're one of my relatives or you want to divine masculine, divine feminine relatives, but I'm seeing you, crazy bitch. You need to stop doing candle magic. You need to stop doing spell work. Whatever this house you sold from divine masculine, divine feminine, the feds finna kick in your shit. I feel like Margaret, whoever you is, the feds ain't gonna kick in your shit. They gonna arrest your ass at a grocery store. Or some type of game or something. I feel like you're going to be out and about when you get your motherfucking ass arrested. And you're going to be locked up a long motherfucking time. They're going to take your ass to a mental institution. <laughs> hey, collective. Collective. Let me tell y'all something. Being excited. In, in this season, don't argue with none of these comics. Somebody is up Your doing turn. chaos magic. It's fine to practice what? Somebody is up doing chaos magic right now. Do not argue and fight with any of these motherfucking karmics. I don't care if they try to argue with you in the physical. Don't argue with nobody at your job. Don't argue with nobody at work. Don't argue with nobody at school. Don't fucking argue with nobody. Don't even argue argue with nobody spiritually or energetically. Let the most high God fight y'all battles. These people want y'all to forfeit y'all destiny. So you don't finger stretch the word. So you don't quit. get shit. Click the letter that is in the middle oh, of yeah. quit. Yeah. Finger yeah. stretch the word quit. Oh, let me cut this Click the letter that quit the ends hell, with. Shit. But yeah, y'all, like I was saying, <laughs> don't fucking argue. Don't fucking argue with none of these goddamn karmics, all right? Please don't do that because... They want y'all to forfeit y'all destiny. These people are so desperate for a win. There is a whole group of people that's up right now discussing you. These people could have some type of secret meeting that's going on. I feel like there's there's a lot of people that's that that has attended this this ritual or this meeting. It's not working. It's not hitting you. It's not touching you. It ain't touching me either. I'm hearing it's a couple of crooked local government officials that's here that that's a that's that's at this meeting tonight. This is a this meeting is going on right now. I'm hearing something about an insurance agent. Somebody is looking at somebody's looking at documents and paperwork. Lady or sir, whoever y'all is or whatever this is. 
Y'all are going to jail, bro. Y'all are going to jail. You're going to the feds. Some of you are going to be arrested in your homes. We're going to get your door kicked in. And some of you, I'm going to tell you now, some of you are going to be arrested in public at a game, at the grocery store. I don't know, but this insurance agent that you had write up this paperwork and documents, this bitch is going to jail too. Y'all are going to jail. You're getting your door kicked in. And tell everybody y'all getting integrated by the, uh, by the police individually yeah is this why y'all having late night meetings and shit because y'all getting pulled over by the cops y'all getting pulled over y'all getting stopped by the cops and shit like they did cleo and set it off what happened to luther yeah they asking questions yeah you bitches are scared in the motherfucker tell everybody y'all been being integrated by the police for months or weeks or years or days are you finna be y'all finna be integrated yeah, and then Newport, engine number 555 on the clock, that Newport cigarette was found on the crime scene. I'm telling you, somebody's uncle or somebody's cousin or somebody's brother is a fucking hitman or they helped cover up a murder. I don't know if they, I don't know if they helped cover up a murder intentionally or 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 maybe accidentally. I don't know. I'm hearing something about an accidental death. This wasn't no fucking accidental death. Somebody was poisoned and somebody was murdered. And you bitch ass niggas and hoes is going to jail for that shit. Y'all forget that I'm a psychic investigator and you're Newport. Somebody smokes Newports. Somebody is between the ages of 35 to 45. And your motherfucking ass, that Newport butt, that Newport cigarette was found next to the body. It was found next to the crime scene. How long did y'all drag this man or this woman's body? I'm seeing it. You first, you drug him up the stairs and down the stairs. Then you drug the body outside. Then you put him, then you thought about burying him. Who, this was a, I'm telling you, this had something to do with an insurance policy. I'm telling you, somebody was killed. It's a man that was killed. If y'all are resonating with this, just put it in the comment section. I'm channeling right now as I do my daughter homework. But yeah, it was a man that's killed. This was an inside job. This wasn't no freak accident. Somebody got shot and killed or somebody got stabbed to fucking death. That's exactly what happened. But y'all tried to label it as an accidental death. You didn't know what to do. How long did y'all wait to call the police? Did nobody thinking about calling the police? Damn, what time did this man get killed? At, at, at 5 in the morning, at, at, at 3 in the morning, at, at, at 9 o'clock at night, at 10 o'clock at night, somebody's body was already decomposing. I feel like you motherfuckers actually went into the backyard and started to dig a hole. You dug a motherfucking hole. Yeah, that's what you did. You dug a motherfucking hole. You thought about burying the body. And then somebody had enough common sense to say, well, how about we just call the police and act like it was an accident? Y'all was going to bury this man or bury this woman. Y'all killed this man or woman for insurance policy. And tell Divine Masculine Divine Feminine, who the fuck was on the episode of Unsolved Mysteries in the 90s or the 80s? You kidnapped a baby out of the hospital or some shit like that, bitch? I'm channeling on different karmics right now. I have no idea what the fuck I'm picking up on. But yeah, this insurance agent knew about this murder. Or maybe this insurance agent didn't. But he telling on y'all motherfucking asses. You trying to change wheels around. You trying to change documents and paperwork around. It's too late for that. You didn't did all of that shit. You didn't been did all of that shit. That's how you finna be exposed. It's too late to change the paperwork and documents. Because these probate attorneys that you work with, these 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 crooked ass lawyers and crooked judges, they going to jail too. So yeah, I don't know why y'all having this secret fucking meeting, all this chaos magic that y'all trying to do on Divine Mask and Divine Feminine. You trying to blame them for what? Divine masculine, divine feminine. I can literally feel this in the anointing. I can literally feel this in the spirit. Divine masculine, divine feminine ain't committing no fucking crime, bitch. Bitch ass niggas and hoes. So you just trying to create something. You sitting chaos magic. You hoping somebody say your name on a social media platform. You, you, you hoping that somebody call you or text you. You hoping somebody reach out to you. You hoping somebody get angry or act crazy or act irrational or act, ira uh, act uh, erratic. You want somebody to have erratic behavior so it can cover up how fucking psycho you are. You're a thief. You're a murderer. You like to poison people. You like to shoot and kill people in the back of the head, in the back of the chest, and you like to dig holes in your backyard and bury people and then get scared. Yeah, bitch. Angel number 931 could be significant. Somebody could be from Nashville. Somebody could be from Memphis or something like that. I'm hearing the, the area code 913, okay? Eight one, area code 816 could be significant. Area code 8714 could be significant. Area code 912 could be significant. Area code 863 
to be significant. Area code, I don't know, shit. 444 could be significant. I, I think that's it with the area codes. I'm hearing 187. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, somebody definitely committed some type of murder that you're trying to cover up. Yeah, but you couldn't take out divine masculine, divine feminine, could you, bitch? Y'all can't take out the chosen one. And even, I'm telling you, this is what the Most High God want me to say, y'all. I'm just channeling and talking right now. This is what the Most High God want me to say. Who y'all think is dead is not really dead. And who y'all think is alive is not really alive. Majority of the people that y'all think are alive are clones. The majority of people that y'all think are dead are in hiding. And you're going to be shocked as fuck uh, around 2027 or 2028 when these people tr start to... uh. When they start to reveal their true identities. Yeah. A lot of these people are just some human fleas and shit. A lot of these people got handlers. A lot of these people are under MK Ultra. They're being mind controlled. Oh, so that's what this is. These are these government uh, officials and shit that's been putting divine masculine, divine feminine. Well, they tried to put y'all under uh, MK Ultra, but you're too strong. Somebody thought they was going to be your clone, divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody thought they was going to blood sacrifice you and get rid of you and become your copycat. This could even be a cousin of yours, male or female. Or this could be a, a third party that's connected to an ex or something like that. These people going to jail. Y'all going to jail, bro. Y'all did all of this to divine masculine, divine feminine to steal their inheritance, to steal their great fortune. And then somebody is up all night. Bro, it's a federal agent. These federal agents are following y'all. They following y'all everywhere you go. If you knew that you were being followed and traced the way you was, you wouldn't be following and tracking divine masculine, divine feminine. You wouldn't be doing that. You're doing too much. I'm hearing something about an undercover cop. I'm hearing something about a private investigator. This bitch is scared. Somebody is scared because y'all lied to these men and women about divine masculine, divine feminine. Y'all got these motherfucking people so goddamn scared, they don't know what to do. You done set up and told all these lies on these men and women. Told these men and women that, that divine masculine, divine feminine was crazy and a hoe and a slut and a dog. and <coughs> Y'all just said a whole bunch of nuts and a whole bunch of bullshit that wasn't true. I told y'all, quit sending these undercover cops and, and, and hitmans. Quit sending these people in towards the right mask and the right feminine. They fuck around and fall, fall in love. The right mask and the right feminine. The number one sign that somebody has been sent to you is, is if you have a nice, good conversation with somebody, if you go on a couple of dates or... Or even if somebody is sent to you as a neighbor or a friend, if you have a good relationship with somebody and then all of a sudden they move out the neighborhood, all of a sudden they 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 stop calling you, they stop talking to you because they scared, they scared as fuck. They either don't want to complete the job because they end up falling for you or they can't complete the job because the feds probably got a hold to their motherfucking ass. I'm telling you, these people going, it's so many people going to jail. Y'all are going to jail. You wanted divine masculine, divine feminine to be a blood sacrifice, and they're not. And this fake ass, these fake ass insurance agents are going to jail as well. I mean, some of these insurance agents have already passed away; they're no longer here, or they quit their jobs, or they retired, or something like that. So you got these new insurance agents that have come in, just like there's new federal agents. You got these new insurance agents that have just now come in, and they're they're looking over paperwork, they're looking over documents. And they see that these old insurance agents were committing fraud. They were behind some of these people uh, being blood sacrificed. These 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 fake ass insurance agents. They got to cut uh, some of these uh, some of divine masculine, divine feminine's money to blood sacrifice them. The blood. Yeah, I'm hearing something about Ricky Smiley. That bitch probably going to jail. I ain't got nothing against Ricky Smiley, but he didn't sacrifice a lot of fucking people for his brotherhood, especially his son. He really wanted to give the fuck away from his son. Yeah, I'm hearing these karmic ass parental figures, mothers and fathers and shit, they going to jail for trying to unalive their own fucking children, you fucking psychos. Listen, let me go because I'm going to be on here all night. But yeah, uh, I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. The root of this goddamn channel message is, is that collecting these karmics are up right now in real time having a secret meeting on you. Some of these people are talking in group chat. Some of these people are pacing around in their own houses. Look, they can't even fucking sleep tonight. 
whether they having meetings or not. These bitches and hoes can't sleep because the feds gonna kick in their dough at any given time. And to the bitch that sold this house for somebody, don't worry, the feds ain't gonna come get you in your house. That would be real stupid. They're not gonna make a scene. You don't have anything to worry about. Whoever been, listen, some of you old ass parental figures and shit, some of you old ass aunts and uncles and shit that stole shit, that split shit, of divine masculine, divine feminine's inheritance, and divine masculine, divine feminine's money. Listen, a lot of y'all are old. They don't want to give y'all a fucking heart attack. What y'all think the feds are fucking slow? They not. They don't go to sleep, bitch. Go to sleep. <laughs> the feds ain't go. Somebody is up pacing all fucking night and shit. Get bitch, you old. Take your old ass, male, male or female. Take y'all old country asses to bed or old bougie northern asses. I don't know. Take y'all motherfucking ass to bed. You too old. The feds ain't gonna kick in your dough. That'll give you a fucking heart attack. These are old ass men and women. Y'all mothers and daddies. Y'all mamas and daddies and shit and aunts and uncles and shit. That's up scared that the feds gonna kick they dough in. Then you got younger siblings, brothers and sisters and shit, cousins and shit, uncles and aunts and shit that's young. These motherfuckers is scared too, but they up drinking and smoking all night. These motherfuckers are scared. <laughs> these motherfuckers are scared the feds for the kick they doze in. Listen to these karmic ass families. These the elderly people in the family. Listen, the feds ain't going to arrest y'all. They not going to kick y'all dough in because y'all are old. Do y'all think the feds is stupid? The feds don't want to give y'all a fucking heart attack. You too old. If anything, listen to the elderly people are part of these karmic families. The feds is going to, they're going to arrest y'all at grocery stores and shit. You know, you like to do your weekly grocery shopping at, at six in the morning. You know, old people get up super early. Shit, I get up early. But yeah, they know you like to do your grocery shopping. They know They know you like to get coffee and donuts or milk and fucking donuts. Or orange juice and donuts at 7 and 8 o'clock in the morning. They watch you. They know you like to go to the antique shop. They know you like to go to yard sales and shit. They're going to arrest you, arrest your ass in public. That's what they're going to do. They're going to say, come with me. Come with me, Margaret. Come with me, uh, uh Johnny. <laughs> come, come with me, uh, Nathaniel. <laughs> Sometimes you got to smile to keep from crying. Shout out to Boosie. Man, I don't even want to say what I'm hearing. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm hearing, I don't even want to say that. I ain't going to say that. Let me leave that alone. Shout out to Boosie, though. But, uh, um, yeah, so the elderly people are part of these karmic families. They not going to, they not going to give y'all no heart attack. They know you scared as fuck. They going to, they going to arrest you properly. Okay, they going to arrest you at, at, at Walmart. Okay, H E B, uh, Publix, you know, Winn Dixie. They don't even make that stuff no more. The Brookshires. I don't know what state y'all in. Uh, Foodland, motherfucking Save a Lot, motherfucking. I don't know, bro. I don't know what grocery store they're gonna risk y'all at. Publix, uh, a Kroger. I don't know where y'all live in the world. <laughs> the Conoco, the Texaco, up the stove, the Sunoco. I don't know. I feel like these people are struggling so bad. How the fuck you gonna get a million dollars, bitch? I feel like this is a million dollars or more, or, or, or I don't know. It might not have been. It might not have been that much. But how you gonna get all this money? How you gonna split all this motherfucking money up, and then don't give divine masculine, divine feminine none when it was they money to begin with? Not matter of fact, how the fuck you gonna spend all this motherfucking money up and you ain't got no more money left? Damn, you struggling to buy you you struggling to buy groceries. You struggling to buy food. You understand what I'm saying? And you ain't got no motherfucking money left. But this is what you get for trying to put divine masculine, divine feminine in poverty. Everybody in this world trying to make it, and somebody grandmama or somebody granddaddy left somebody some shit, and y'all didn't took divine masculine, divine feminine shit. You wanted them in poverty. You wanted them suffering. You wanted them to go without. Well, now it's your turn, bitch. Somebody's wealth. Yeah, these all oh, spirits saying these people is up having meetings because they trying to figure out. Yeah, these bitches got maps and shit. 
They got motherfucking microscopes and shit. They sitting there round t- table meetings. They trying to figure out how to keep this money from coming to divine mass and divine feminine. Look, bitch, y'all done already, yeah, bitches and hoes. You done already blocked people mail. You done already blocked people emails. You done did all this motherfucking blocking. And this goddamn money is going to come directly. Cash. What Craig say? Cash. In your hand, it's going to come right into Divine Mass and Divine Feminine's hands. A federal agent, the CIA or something, is going to deliver this money. Shit, Divine Masculine might deliver this money to Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine might deliver this money to Divine Masculine. I don't fucking know, but take y'all scary asses to bed. The feds ain't coming no time soon. It's still 2024. Your motherfucking ass is going to jail in 2025. <laughs> or oh, 2026 y'all bitches been under investigation since 2014 2015 y'all going to jail bro y'all going to jail you're not going to be able to attend the royal wedding you're not going to be able to see these spirit babies get born you're not going to see these star seed children uh, join a blended family with divine masculine and divine feminine's kids you're not going to see that shit you're not going to witness somebody to have to get married you're not going to you're not going to witness shit what you're going to witness is a jail cell and if you hear about anything about Divine Master and Divine Feminine, it's going to be on national TV. And you better hope Divine Master and Divine Feminine buy you a fucking TV in your jail cell. You better hope they put some commissary on your list. You better hope they come see your ass in this mental institution that you wanted Divine Master and Divine Feminine to be in. I don't know what the fuck this energy is, but I'm going to keep saying the same thing, bitch. Divine Master and Divine Feminine is not a fucking cr- criminal. I'm talking to these crooked ass local government officials that don't want to be wrong. I'm talking to these karmic ass family members, including my motherfucking own. These karmic ass exes and shit, bitch. We ain't... Me, me and my soul tribe, including myself, we are not motherfucking cr- criminals, bitch. Y'all are literally trying to create divine mask and divine feminine to be a criminal. You're literally trying to create them to be, you're trying to make them depraved. You're trying to make them be erratic. You're trying to make somebody be something that they not. You don't got shit on divine mask and divine feminine. You're trying to hold something, you're trying to hold somebody to their past. Does divine mask and divine feminine even have a fucking past? Let's talk about divine masculine and divine feminine's past. Some of the shit that y'all said that these people did, did they didn't even fucking do. You just lied on them. You lied under oath. You lied in documents. You lied in paperwork. And even if divine masculine and divine feminine do got a fucking past, they don't got a past no more. How the fuck you going to try to hold something to somebody that happened 20 years ago? Damn, divine masculine, he stole a car when he was 17. You still trying to hold him to his past? Goddamn, Divine Feminine got upset. She got into an argument when she was 21. You still trying to hold her to her past, bitch? Make it make sense, bitch. The only people that's going to jail and passing away is you bitch ass hoes and niggas. These crooked local government officials that, that put Divine Mask and Divine Feminine under a government experiment and thought it was funny that then put cameras around Divine Mask and Divine Feminine's homes inside of their fucking homes and followed them the fuck, the fuck around like the fucking Truman Show. Ain't nobody gonna be invited to the royal fucking weddings. This is gonna be on national tv some of these weddings are gonna take place overseas you bitches are about to die you finna die death in jail death in jail death in jail death in jail pick one which one do you want bitch go to bed ain't nobody going to the feds no time soon they is watching you though they watching y'all motherfucking ass the same way that y'all put cameras in the right mask and the right feminine home you being watched too yeah, these to the bitch or nigga that stole this house from Divine Mask and Divine Feminine, the fit, all of the houses that are surrounding you are Airbnbs. They literally pay some of your neighbors to move into bigger homes, to bigger houses, so they can monitor you and track you. Most of your neighbors, the neighbors, the people that you live around, are federal fucking agents, bitch. Same for you, Divine Mask and Divine Feminine. People in your neighborhood, people in your town, people in your city, they're federal agents. They protect you. They watch over you. I don't fucking know, but to these karmics, take y'all ass to bed. Stop talking in group chats. Stop having meetings. Yeah, they picking y'all motherfucking ass up, ain't they? (laughs) They interrogating y'all motherfucking ass. If this ain't already happened, it's finna happen in 2025. Yeah, you remember when that federal agent stopped Cleo on the street and set it off? We need to talk, Cleo. Tell me what happened to Luther. Yeah, they yeah, they they asking questions now. Y'all scared in the motherfucker. Y'all so scared you can't even hold water. Now y'all calling calling each other. Now you talk now you talk now you talking on group chats. What happened to this man or this woman that y'all murdered? You dug a hole in the backyard and tried to bury this man or this woman in the backyard, but you couldn't do it, so you got scared and you just went ahead and called the police. I'm smelling I'm smelling death. How long did this man or this woman's body stay left out? 
Yeah, they got your DNA on that Newport cigarette that you smoked. You helped clear up a murder. You put, you helped hide a body. What the fuck happened? And who the fuck was cremated? Somebody didn't want to be cremated. Somebody wanted to be buried in, in a mausoleum or somebody wanted to be buried. Yeah, but you was greedy as fuck. I don't fucking know. Look, I gotta go. I gotta go. Somebody was also murdered in a nursing home. Somebody killed an elderly man or elderly woman in a fucking nursing home. And somebody was also on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries in the 80s or the 90s. Somebody was kidnapped. Somebody's gonna find out they were kidnapped. Somebody has a story just like the Carlina White story. I don't know, but you bitches are going to jail. You crooked local government, everybody going to jail. Death in jail, death in jail. And take y'all ass to bed because the feds ain't coming no time soon. They, they going to come. But to the elderly people, they going to arrest y'all ass in public. To these young people, yeah, you might want to take your last, you might, you might want to roll your last blunt. You might want to take your last drink like Cleo did. Go ahead and do that because if you try to barricade yourself in a home, if you try to shoot and kill, I'm telling you. Shit, y'all didn't give a fuck about divine man. Why you attacking the divine masculine, divine children, divine feminine? Yeah, why the fuck y'all was attacking divine masculine, divine feminine children? You didn't give a fuck if they lived or died. Shout out to all my fellow chosen ones that are no longer with us. That's that's in the afterlife. They died and they had children. These were good fathers. These were good mothers and shit. You killed these people, or so you thought. I gotta go. <laughs> Peace.